Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. So, TMP Mo Lopez says that he wants to get back on behalf of um, his friend, Roly Romero, who was stopped in the sixth round by Javante Tank Davis. He says he wants to get back. He says that he feel like he can beat Tank Davis. Now, I'm going to give this assessment of Tank my honest assessment where I think Tank is a star, but I, I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons of Tank Davis. And it's going to be an interesting video. And like I said, I like Tank, though. I like Tank as a fighter. I've interviewed Tank a, a couple of times. You know, I've interviewed him a couple of times. You know, he's let me film him and stuff. You know, walking into the building, walking, you know. Tank is okay. He's, he ain't, you know, he's solid. But I'm just going to do a video just breaking down, you know, the pros and cons about Tank Davis. And I think people gonna gonna enjoy it or at least listen closely. And it's you know, so I'll do that video probably on Saturday, you know, because I'm gonna have a busy day Saturday. I'm staying put Saturday, you know. Gotta watch these fights and cover these fights. But let me get back to Tiafimo Lopez. I think Tiafimo Lopez, instead of worrying about getting revenge and honoring his friend uh Rolly Romero, that's noble. You know what I'm saying? He wants to get back for your boy. But I really think Tiafimo Lopez needs to worry about possibly trying to get some get back with George Kimbosis Jr. After all, they basically had a no rematch clause in that contract. Now Tiafimo Lopez says that he got set up by the networks and all that kind of stuff. Um, well, you know, um, this is why you should always carefully read a contract before you sign it. You know, all that stuff when you got people like making these videos talking about signing the contract and all that kind of stuff after they said that they wasn't really gonna try to negotiate through the media, you know, you just point this stuff out. Like, that's why I'm one of them dudes that really kind of don't be paying much attention to that kind of stuff. I really don't like prefer to do videos about that you know that's just me I I really and rarely like doing those type of videos but you know my thing is with Tia Fimo, um yeah bro you need to worry about yourself and not worry about what's going on with Roly um at the end of the day, there's no guarantee that you can beat Tank. Because in all likelihood, I see probably the same results happening. And with you, the way sometimes you fight, it might be even quicker. Because even though uh, for the most part, you beat Lomachenko decisively, there was one round. I can't remember whether it was the eighth or the ninth. It looked like you was about to get taken into deep water. It looked like you was on the verge of possibly getting stopped, but you you fought through it and you got the W. So I just think it would be in your best interest to worry about Tia Fimo and you know let Roly handle himself. Roly, at the end of the day, the way Roly talk, Roly is gonna be on TV, he's gonna be featured on cards for years to come, win, lose, or draw. So, that's that's my thing, that's my take. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.